How's it guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I got a tutorial that I want to show you guys on how to do motion tracking like with text or images. It's actually pretty easy. Uh, it does take a little bit of time in Premiere Pro. Let's get into it and check it out. All right, so off the bat, I, I would say the easiest way to do this is in After Effects. But if you've just got Premiere Pro and you want to know how to do it in Premiere, that's why I'm here, guys. Uh, I'll show you how to do it. It just takes a little bit longer than After Effects. So what I've got here is I've got my clip and I've got a call out. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the call out onto our video and we are going to track it to an object. So then when the object moves, the call out moves with it. So what you're going to do is you're going to get to the point where you want it to start tracking from, which is over here. And as soon as you see the circle appear, the point that you want to track, I want to track from that circle. I'm just going to zoom in here. We need to adjust it to the point, the object that we want to track. So I'm going to adjust it to this palm tree over there. And I'm going to remember the position exactly where I had it so that uh, one frame doesn't get tracked to here and then my next friend's down here and then my next friend's up there. You need to be very, very aware of where you put this thing and you have to stick and make sure that every single frame uh, is in the same spot. That's why it does take a little bit longer than After Effects. So I'm going to pop it right there. As I can see, there's a light section over there and then my circle, the bottom of my circle meets the light section. So I'm going to remember that is my position. And very important, do not forget, hit the position keyframe. That's going to start the animation process. And then click your timeline at the bottom, hold shift and right arrow key. That's going to move five frames forward. Uh, why you do that is because you could go through every single frame, um, but it would take you a very, very long time to do it. So I recommend shifting through every five frames and then if there's any points where you need to adjust, then you can go back in and adjust them later. I've moved five frames forward. I can adjust so I can move my position and more or less try to get it to the same spot. I click on my timeline, hold shift, right, move forward five frames. If you want, you can click on this motion here and um, let me just zoom out so you can see. It basically adds a box which you can click and drag um, instead of having to adjust your position left and right. Um, individually so now I can just drag it with my mouse and find that center part much much easier go down to my time frame uh, hold shift move to the right sometimes I'll move to the right a few times just to push forward a few frames and then see how it looks so I'm going to do that three four times and now I'm going to adjust and then go back to my timeline one two three make sure my nested sequence is selected and adjust and I'm just going to fast forward doing the same thing all the way to the end and then I'll let you guys know how it goes and we can watch it together. Okay, cool. So I'm done. I'm not going to take it any further than that. I'm just going to delete this. Otherwise, we're just going to be going on and on for no reason. So I'm going to fit this to screen so you guys can see how it looks. Basically, I've tracked that palm tree to the point every probably about every 15 frames at the moment it, it might not look good because we're doing it like that i might need to go in between the keyframes and adjust them accordingly but let's just maximize this a bit so you guys can see how it looks and let's check it out here we go i mean that's not too bad that's pretty good i'm pretty happy with that um, guys, it really is that simple. It really is that easy. And that didn't take me longer than a few minutes either. Um, if you want to do the same thing with text, you can. What you're going to do is you're going to create a new uh, legacy title. And what you're going to put on there is you are going to put an X. Okay, that's my legacy title with a big X. And uh, I'm just going to, I'm going to pop that title in. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing with this X. I'm basically going to track uh, the center point of the X all the way to the end of the video clip. And I'm just going to fast forward so you guys don't have to watch me do it all over again. Okay, so that's the X track. Let's have a look at it. Same thing, my X is following the tree. I might have to go in and adjust that one, but just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to do that. And then what you do is you double click on your legacy title. Then what you do is you just change your text to tree, because it's a tree, I guess. Adjust your X position, your Y position over here, where you want it to start and end. Uh, let's move the one over. And play through it. And now the word is tracked. 
to where the X was. You basically use the X as your point of reference and then you swap the X out for any text. That's what I did with my hand. I tracked my, oh, no, no, no sorry. <laughs> tracked this as my point of reference. While I was holding it, the X was just tracking that, moving around, and then I just replaced the text and that's it. Simple as that, guys. It's actually really not that hard, not as hard as people make it out to be, but I, I really hope that helped you out. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and um, hey, if that video has helped you, added value to your life, uh, give this a like, a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel, please guys. I really appreciate it. But that's all for me, guys. Peace out.